Salvatore has reaction from the victim's friend who witnessed the crime. Police said around 8 last night they were called to Pace and Cervantes. A man said he was robbed outside a gas station. Well, yeah, last night inside the store we heard like uh, a gunshot outside. <laughs> Customer uh, rushed in saying that somebody just uh, shot at somebody who was trying to rob him basically. The victim was giving his friend Robin Ball a ride home when they decided to stop at the gas station. The trouble started when she went inside. And then I come out the store, they got him jacked up telling him to give them the, uh, his money. And they hit him in the head, I mean, in the face with a gun. And then they fired. And then, like I said, well, we all ran back inside. The victim in this case tells Pensacola police three men walked outside the store, circled his truck. One of the men had on a ski mask, produced a handgun, and said, give me your money. The victim told the suspects he didn't have any money. And then he said they assaulted him, hitting him in the face through his driver's side window. And a little baby ran across the street, ran across and the path of the guy, and the guy fired a gun and shot. The victim told police he punched his accelerator trying to escape, and he heard a gunshot behind him as he sped south on E Street. Uh, the police came and looked at the civilian cameras that we have inside the store, and they have you know, a couple suspects that they think uh, uh, the, the, the people, the witnesses, give uh, good descriptions of them. Police found a bullet hole in the victim's truck bed and one in his toolbox case. By the grace of God, I was saved, and that little child was saved, and they should get them. They should get them guys because that was wrong. They ain't got nothing better better to do than go out there and rob people. And we just pulled up there. Business was back to normal Thursday afternoon. The store owner says he plans to add more cameras so that customers feel safe. In Pensacola, Joe Salvatore, Fox 10 News. And call Pensacola Police if you have any information about the crime.